Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hive Swap. My name is Noir. Uh, I haven't played this in a few days. I got kind of swamped with stuff. I think I was trying to something. Uh, let's just dance. No, it's too soft. What's this? Can I click on that? I guess not. Notice you haven't changed your position. Over. Yeah, I, I just wanted to write in my diary before I go. That's what we're doing, just in case, I guess. Grim, but admirable. Well maintained war journal, hallmark of espionage game. Pair of says, over and out. <laughs> yeah, that was useful. I can't remember what, his, what Joey's brother's name is. Uh, right, so I need to find the key. Oh, it's dark. Was it always this long to load? No, okay. Uh, right. So, there it is there. Where the F is the... Um, key? Unless do I have some sort of thing to jimmy it open? Uh, I guess not. A prodigious collection of titles from your console's hungry carter shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You can spend all day listening. There's Busby. There's mentioned Busby makes you feel like queasy. So you think you stop there? I can't believe you. Busby sucked. So is that the second Mega Drive or Genesis, whatever you fucking had? Right. Nothing in the bag. No. I'm in the drawers. Bean bags. I bet you it's somewhere like obvious. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you can be the one caring for fuzzy baby faced baby critters. And when someone catches you and you have to snuggle in the mall and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say, You're here on professional medical business, then they'll have to take the hike, not you. Right. I swear I'm not this bad at games. <laughs> uh, is that the film I can take? Bake? You're all baking stuff. Damn. Can you give me more clues? Nope. Right. They'll be here somewhere. I guess it's a game of pixel hunting now. Can I turn the light on? That might make things a lot better. I've been walking around in the dark all this time. Uh, right. Oh, it's one of those wee uh, film reel things. They're always cool. It looks so much better in here now, it's bright. <laughs> Hungry on yeah, but what's that? There's something behind there. No? I guess not. Eh, uh, okay. How about... There's nothing there. So is that straight up Busby? <laughs> Bubsy. Is this key? Because there is no key. I. Is that something? No. I thought it would be. Damn, Joey, your room's a mess. You would have helped if I started the timer so I knew when this episode was actually started. I'm not up to the best of like crumbs and stars, am I? Now, if I was some person who had a diary, which I don't, because, I don't know, <laughs> uh, where would I put it? I'll keep it in my drawer. Can I look in here? Uh, da -da -da -da. 
I just bear with me. I'm probably going to have to find out where the hell this key is. Wait, is there something there? Right, just bear with me. <laughs> Why can't I find this? Oh, oh wait, search. <coughs> you reached the side of the expectant plush canine. Canine. Puppy surprise, having puppies. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's too pink and fuzzy for my liking. She actually came with five puppies, but he gave two away to make room for our stuff. He don't know anyone else who got five. Some kid from school got four and hers, and she wouldn't shut up for about a week. Where are the cookies? I know that's like the cherub. I do not want to brag, but yeah. You walk with a little, so quiet, little spring in your step for a while after birthing that quintet of pups. Maybe you five. Five puppy people are just cut from different cloth. Couldn't read their things. Let's get the key. You collect the diary key. And while you're at it, you think you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. Just a feeling. A deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. <laughs> oh, but those is blocking up there. Wait, let's open this diary. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't really care. Oh, that's nice. It's very aesthetic. <gasps> Is that Roxy? You don't have much to record on your own account of humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Oh, I've read this before. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance. So wait, dear diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded something again of last summer. I've been back to school. I'm home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision. The youngsters are getting around here. So that is Roxy. She means well enough though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Oh, this all looks like it. It's actually um, the Homestuck Kids. That's just right. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail, mentioned offhand and forgotten, the key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary, ho-ho. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school, to maybe extend their social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. Oh, I guess it's better to call them my web ring. The kids at school are Jeff, so then he called me a poser when I tried to talk to him about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school may be evil. Jeez, now I'm sitting all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. Phew. First day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. Well. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary. I can't believe I haven't recorded the entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. Frowny face. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters get getting around here. She means well enough though. I haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off some more stupid mummies and glows or whatever and skipped off to go on to some more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us all call him Pa instead of Dad when we are growing up? I miss Mum. Joey. That's kinda sad. If this could be the last entry of your diary, then by gum we're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it when it's your snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary. Forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster in the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too. So I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I'm going to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfied. You've done your duty. Miss a fizz. Posterity in case the worst would happen. Should happen. You relock your diary and hide the heat key again. Safe and sound. But how are people going to find it? Okay. If writing diary about tactics, please share. Over. I, I'm hanging up now. Not a phone. Over. Click. Dial tone. Can see you through window. <laughs> you are making sound with mouth. Over now. 
Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go out. You know, I'll take some baking with me just in case. No. <laughs> it wasn't locked. <laughs> Looks like the coast is clear. For now. Better hurry up over to the whole closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent you mean snake can get the drop on you. What's that? <laughs> Can't be afraid that. You got this toy caterpillar so you could learn how to cure caterpillar diseases. Aww. But it turns out plush caterpillars don't get sick. Aww. Still pretty cute though. Must be afraid that. The caterpillar can't help you. And he can't help the caterpillar. Not a doctor of friendship, but at least nobody's been taken advantage of. True. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and head up to the attic, right? Affirmative. Also refrain from excess chatter. Over. Oh, right, yeah. Bye. Could let monsters over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in this espionage game, Joey. <laughs> Sounds golden. Over. Jude, shut up. <laughs> Remember one time when training mission could keep my trap shut? Oh boy. Really landed in the pickle. Over. You've never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. Over and click. I don't think it's up there yet. Can I take this? This gun could shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. No, I do. Oh, you don't use guns. So, I wonder whose room that is. <laughs> Let's go down here. Do you recommend you grab your strike weapon from the whole closet and head up to the attic as quick as you can? You're sticking with that plan for now. What's the whole closet? Is it down this way? No. Wait, okay. So wait, just take me back here. This is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother's maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. I sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? He's full of nerds, think, and give her crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but just the same, that's the one you'd rather let Jude deal with. What does he have? Okay, where's this closet? Oh wait. Is it here? Yeah, there we go. I thought that was the one I came out of before, to be honest. I don't know why. Right, what have we got? You think back to before, back to when this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess about what was inside, but now your guess is even more reasonable. Okay, we'll for. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. We wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes may be the solution to this problem. If you can just get a good stomp going, you may be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Okay, I guess we just gotta dance. Yeah! Wonder what's that near? Nothing fragile, you hope. You pick through the box and find your flashlight. And an old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh hey, there's more some pet treats in here too. The heat cach caches of those all over. Never know when you need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click click. No dice. Another battery problem. You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all, just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. Found my old strength weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot all about those. Please keep them safe. <laughs> no. No, I'm throwing them all away. <laughs> Joey, please. Those are my favourites. Over. I'm not really throwing them away, you nerd. What'd you take me for? Thanks. Over. So I guess I'd head to the attic now. That is the plan. Over. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative. Over and out. Is that something I can pick up there? <laughs> what? Alright, your mum's jewelry box. <laughs> I'm just clicking on the Pringles. Can I open it? No. Oh, wait. Also, it appears to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. This place is a mess. Uh, 
bit, but what I'm going to do is actually going to leave it here. Um, so until next time, guys, I shall catch you later. Bye bye.